Hi there, Murray is here with the Resuscitation Coach. On this channel we do all things resuscitation, so please consider subscribing. In today's video we'll be discussing the Pediatric Advanced Life Support or PALS tachycardia algorithm. So let's jump straight in. Here we go. The Pediatric Tachycardia Algorithm outlines the steps for evaluating and managing the child who presents with tachycardia. The initial management priorities include the following. Airway. Support the airway and position the child or allow the child to assume a position of comfort or open, maintain and protect the airway if needed. Breathing. Give oxygen in high concentration, like using a non-rebreather mask if available. Assist ventilations, as indicated, using a bag mask device, and ensure to attach a pulse oximeter to monitor the oxygen saturation. Circulation. Check heart rate and blood pressure. Attach an ECG monitor or defibrillator. Establish vascular axis using an IV or IO and obtain appropriate laboratory studies like potassium, glucose, ionized calcium, magnesium, blood gas and a toxicological screen. Assess neurological status, anticipate the need for medications depending on the type of rhythm disturbance. We should also perform a 12-lead ECG if available but we should not delay treatment. Evaluate the 12 lead ECG, determine if the rhythm is sinus tachycardia or a tachycardia arrhythmia. If it's a sinus tachycardia, we should see P waves, which is normal looking with an infant rate below 220 per minute and a child rate below 180 per minute. We should also search for and treat the causes. As soon as we recognize a tachyarrhythmia in an infant or child, assess and look for signs of cardiopulmonary compromise. Signs of cardiopulmonary compromise includes acutely altered mental status, signs of shock, hypertension, or life-threatening hemodynamic instability. If there are signs of cardiopulmonary compromise, evaluate the QRS duration. Specific emergency interventions used to treat tachyarrhythmias with a pulse are dictated by the severity of the child's condition. Treatments also vary based on the width of the QRS complex. If it's narrow, meaning that the QRS is equal or less than 0.09 seconds, or wide when the QRS is more than 0.09 seconds. If narrow complex, treat as a probable supraventricular tachycardia or SVT. We would typically see when it's an SVT that the P waves are absent, infant rates equal or above 220 per minute and in children a rate equal or above 180 per minute. If the patient has a stable SVT, consider vagal maneuvers. Vagal maneuvers help to decrease the heart rate when the vagus nerve is stimulated. In patients with SVT, vagal stimulation may terminate the tachycardia by slowing the conduction through the AV node. The easiest technique to use in both infants and children is to put ice to the face. Apply a small plastic bag filled with ice and water to the upper half of the face for about 15 to 20 seconds. And do not, I repeat, do not occlude the nose and the mouth. Older children that is old enough to follow instructions can perform the Valsava maneuver by blowing through a narrow straw. It is important to never use ocular pressure 
as it may produce retinal injury. If the child remains stable and the rhythm does not convert, we can try it for a second time. After a second attempt and it does not work, we can try a different method or medications. If the patient becomes unstable at any time, consider synchronized cardioversion. It is important to monitor and record the ECG continuously before, during and after attempted vagal maneuvers. If vagal stimulation was not successful and an IV or IO is present, give adenosine. Adenosine is the drug of choice for most common forms of SVT caused by a re-entrant pathway involving the AV node. For IV or IO route, give 0.1 mg per kilogram or a maximum first dose of 6 mg, not exceeding the adult first dose. If the first dose is ineffective, we may give a second dose of 0.2 mg or a maximum of 12 mg, not exceeding the adult dose. Use a rapid bolus with a rapid flush of 5 to 10 ml of normal saline using a two syringe technique. Usually one person will be pushing the adenosine while a second person will push the flush following the adenosine. Keep in mind that the half-life of adenosine is very short and we need to be quick. If the patient has an unstable SVT and an IVIO axis is available, you can try adenosine. If the IV or IO axis is not available or adenosine is ineffective, perform immediate synchronized cardioversion. The dual settings for synchronized cardioversion in pediatric starts at 0.5 joules per kilogram, then increases to 1 joule per kilogram and then 2 joules per kilogram. Using a length-based resuscitation tape is helpful to get the correct dose for medications and joule settings based on weight. If the QRS is greater than 0.09 seconds, Treat it as a possible ventricular tachycardia or VT. If the patient is stable and the rhythm is regular and QRS is monomorphic, consider adenosine. Avoid adenosine if the rhythm is irregular as this may result in an unstable rhythm. Expert consultation is recommended. If a child with a Y-complex tachycardia is hemodynamically stable, early consultation with a pediatric cardiologist or other provider with appropriate expertise is strongly recommended. For a pharmacological conversion, establish vascular access and consider administering one of the following medications. Amiodarone, your IV or IO dose is 5 mg per kilogram over 20 to 60 minutes. You can also consider procanamide and your IV and IO dose is 15 mg per kilogram, this time given over 30 to 60 minutes. Seek expert consultation when giving amiodarone or procanamide. Do not routinely administer amiodarone and procanamide together or with other medications that prolong the QT interval. If these initial efforts do not terminate the rapid rhythm, re-evaluate the rhythm. If not already administered, consider adenosine because a Y-complex tachycardia could be SVT with an aberrant ventricular conduction. If the patient is unstable with a possible VT, perform immediate synchronized cardioversion. If you benefited from this video, kindly like, subscribe and smash that notification bell. We'll see you in the next video. Have a fantastic day.